everyone out there in podcast land. Welcome to an all new edition of Listen Out Loud, hosted by me, Read Aloud, AKA Mom. <laughs> I'm coming to you live from the dental office of Dr. Feinstein, where I work as a dental hygienist. Today, I'm going to give you a behind-the-scenes glimpse of what we do here. That's right, you're about to get the tooth, the whole tooth, and nothing but the tooth. (laughs) I'm sorry, I told Luann that joke wouldn't work. Besides, this is my place of business, and I need to remain professional. Whoops, (laughs) didn't see that tray there. I'll clean those tools up later. Anyway, I chose today to host the podcast for two very specific reasons. Number one, Dr. Feinstein is at CavityCon, the state's biggest dental convention. And number two, three people you know very well will be coming in for their teeth cleanings, Lori, Lola, and Lynn Loud Sr., also known as Dad. (laughs) Let's go to the waiting room and greet them. You can't see it, podcast listeners, but we are now in the waiting room. That gurgling you hear is the fish tank. We have two large goldfish here to greet patients when they arrive. Their names are Flossie and Ginger Vitus. (laughs) That's a dental joke. (laughs) Hold on, I don't hear any music playing. That's better. Research has shown that the bubbling of the fish tank and the sound of classical music are very soothing. Most patients don't mind going to the dentist, but every once in a while, there's one who really needs a calming environment. Uh, uh, Dad! Go! I don't want to be here! Hold still! This is exactly the kind of patient I was talking about. You kids lied to me! You said we were going for Froyo! I'm out of here! Dad! No! Loba, grab his legs! No. You grab his legs! He's already kicked me twice! Whoa! Dad, stop thrashing! That is enough! Daddy, you sit down this instant! <laughs> Honestly, you're going to the dentist, not a dungeon! Yeah, Dad, it's going to be okay! Thank you for bringing your father, girls. Honey, I promise you this will be quick and easy. And if you're good, you can definitely have a Froyo. I can? Uh Uh-huh. Okay. Well, I'm sorry I overreacted. And girls, I'm sorry about the kicking. And and the and the thrashing. And the threatening to write you out of my will. It's literally okay, Dad. Honey, would you like to go first? No, I don't wanna! I don't want to at all! No, for Pete's sake. I'll go first! Lola, are you Eating chocolate sandwich cookies? Sorry. I needed some energy after lugging Dad in from the van, and this was all I had. Well, we'll take care of that. Come with me. (laughs) Why are there so many tools on the floor? Uh, Dr. Feinstein made a mess. I'll get them later. Don't worry. I have new sterile ones for you. Now hop up on the chair, sweetie. I can't. It's too high. Hang on. I'll lower it. Okay, podcast listeners, we're ready for the first cleaning. I'd like to show you some of the tools we use, but since this is a podcast, I'm just going to explain them. These are picks. We use them to remove plaque from teeth. The only plaques I have are from all my beauty pageants. (laughs) All right, let me turn on the suction tube. Now, let's take a look. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. No cavities. I am proud of you, Lola. Really? Uh, I mean, of course there are no cavities. It's not like I've been eating cake after bedtime. (laughs) Huh. The way you say that makes me think you have been. Okay, podcasters, the next thing I have to do is polish Lola's teeth. I use a special paste on a turbocharged brush to really create a shine. What flavor paste, sweetheart? Oh, frosting, please. (laughs) That's not a flavor. But now I'm really convinced you're eating cake in your room. (laughs) Hang on, honey. Sorry, the chair has some faulty wiring. It started malfunctioning yesterday, and <laughs> little Dorian Westerbrook ended up with toothpaste up his nose. <laughs> um, where was I? You were getting the paste? Oh, right. If you don't have frosting, I guess I'll take sugar. Uh, how about mint? Meh. Okay, you can rinse and spit. <laughs> And last but not least, listeners, we floss. All done. Mirror, please. Ooh, so shiny. Thanks, Mommy. Okay, listeners, I'm going to take five and call the mechanic to get that chair fixed before Dr. Feinstein comes back from CavityCon. 
We're back. I'm returning to the waiting room so I can get patient number two. Ah, hi! Relax, Daddy. There's nothing to worry about. It was a breeze. Would you like to go next, honey? Uh... Uh, you know, I, 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 I totally would, but I can't cut in front of my firstborn daughter. <laughs> I'll stay here and keep Lola company. Listeners, you can't see me, but I'm rolling my eyes right now. Trust. No worries. I'm ready to go. Thank you, Lori. You won't find any cavities, Mom, because I take great care of my teeth. Ooh, speaking of teeth, the tuba player in our marching band lost one of hers in a freak accident the other day. Okay, up in the chair. So, the tuba player, Denise Peabody, you met her at open house, was in marching formation while... Open wide, honey. The cheerleaders were practicing their pyramids. Joey and Bruce were on the bottom. Suddenly, Joey sneezed. Can you stop talking, honey? I don't want to accidentally jab you with a pick. And cheerleaders went flying. Suddenly, Whitney, you know, the one with the great hair. Honey, I'm just going to ask you to wear this mask for a second. We're flailing through the air right at Denise. <laughs> Listeners, sometimes I have to use sleeping gas to relax nervous or chatty patients. It's for their safety and mine. <laughs> and we're done with the polishing. Now for a quick floss. Now to gently sit Lori back up and wake her. Oh, dang trim! <gasps> Oh my gosh, honey, are you okay? So then Whitney literally lands right on top of Denise Peabody, knocking her tuba into her face. Wait, why am I on the floor? I don't know. How strange. Come on, I'll walk you back to the waiting room. So the tuba smashed into Denise's face, knocking out her tooth. It was a molar. OMG, Mom, are you psychic? How did you know? Denise came in yesterday to get it fixed. She also, BTW, had four cavities. Rough day for her. All right, time to get your father. Honey, I'm sorry, but you're up. No problemo. I am ready, Rita. You are? Don't worry, Mom. I had a long talk with Dad. Well, Lola reminded me that since I brush and floss twice a day, I have nothing to fear. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Yep. I'm feeling bold and I'm feeling beautiful. Let's do this. Wait. 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 What is that? What's going on back there? Honey, it's just... Oh, no, 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 He's getting away! No, he's not. Extra strength floss is not only good for your gums, it also makes a great lasso. Stand back, girls. <laughs> nice throw, mother. You got him! Okay, help me pull him back. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> what a... I heard drilling! Watch out! He's a kicker! And why was there hammering? Who does that to teeth? Listeners, I must now turn to the other tool of the overwhelmed dental hygienist. <laughs> laughing gas. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. We use this as a last resort to calm patients. It's incredibly effective. Hey, Mom, I fixed the hydraulics in the chair. Thanks, Lana. <laughs> Wait, Lana was the one drilling? And sawing and hammering. Yes, I called her to fix the broken chair. She came in the back entrance. Before you ran out the front entrance. <laughs> so that's, that's why I didn't see her. <laughs> okay, Mom, I think you can turn the gas off now. <laughs> Whoa, Mom, that's the wrong way. You turned it up. Oopsie. I'll go the other way. Oh, no, the knob came off. for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed our trip to the dentist, and I hope you learned some stuff. <laughs> Did you use Luann's joke about the tooth? The whole tooth and nothing but the tooth? <laughs> that is literally hilarious. Only on laughing gas. <laughs> Tune in next time for another edition of Listen Out Loud. <laughs> Hold on, guys. I'm going to open a window to air out the laughing gas. Whoops! 